Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So just want to do a real quick uh, update here. So I had the first time, I, uh, first time I've ever had this, a, uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a ways up here. But anyways, I had a, uh, a uh, let's see if I can go up a bit here. It's going to be a ways up. I don't know how far TMUX will let me go up here. But anyways, I had a, a uh, file collision. So I had uh, XORG server coming in and writing to, uh, let's see if we can do this over here. So if we do CD to EC, uh, no, no, user, uh, what would it be? User local maybe? No, user share maybe? Org X, yeah, X11, there it is. So I had, uh, and then uh, xorg.d, conf.d. So I had uh, xorg server trying to write, for some reason it wanted to write to 10 evdev.conf, and then at the same time we tried to emerge uh, evdev, and it also wanted to write evdev.conf. So let me see if I can go back here and continue to page up. It's gonna take a while. But yeah, I had a, co a, a collision, and I just wanna to try to find it so I can go through it here. Lots of compiling here. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, it's as far as it can go. Okay, so maybe I can do it over this way. No, it's not gonna work. So anyways, it said the something about a file uh, collision. So what you do there is uh, this features collision detect, protect owned, emerged, emerge, and then uh, it actually mentioned something about this. So basically, uh, I want it to be owned, I think, by input evdev. I tried it both ways, but it turns out if you do both, so if you have a, a collision, file collision, in this case, like I said, it was this uh, evdev.conf, then you just use this features equals collision detect, protect own, to merge, and then do both packages that are trying to install this single file that, that they're both trying to install. So hopefully that makes sense. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of show you that. So uh, just, I was just doing a, uh, a quick update here, and that should work, hopefully. But yeah, in case you guys get it, and I'll just uh, add another short video that, like I said, if you have file collisions, that's how you get around it. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully, that'll save some people some time. Thanks for watching.